Prior to his rise as a WWE superstar, Dave Bautista honed his abilities in Ohio Valley Wrestling, where he performed under the name Leviathan. With his impressive stature and unmatched athleticism, Leviathan quickly established himself as a formidable presence in the wrestling world. Little did they know, this was only the start of his dominant career. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a momentous match on our hands today. The future of wrestling Leviathan takes on the biggest challenge of his career as he steps into the ring with a true giant of the sport, the seven-foot former world champion Big Show. This is the test of a lifetime for Leviathan as he faces a veteran who has dominated the ring for years. Leviathan faced his first big challenge in OVW when he stepped into the ring against the Big Show. Show had been sent down to OVW to sharpen his skills and add some edge to his character. This match was a test for both competitors, as Leviathan aimed to prove his raw power and Big Show was desperate to stamp his authority on the rookies down in Kentucky. A victory here over the former WWF champion would no doubt be the biggest moment in the young career of Leviathan. Look at the animalistic strength of the demon of the deep. <laughs> One thing is for sure, that man is going to be a world heavyweight champion at some point in the future. Oh my god, what an impact! Have you ever seen a 500 pound man ragdolled like that before? Well, the referee is down here, and it looks as if Leviathan has some bad intentions. We have another official out here, and it looks like he's trying to restore some order to this match. The 500 pounder has got Leviathan by the throat. Big Show has Demon set for the choke slam. Now wait a minute, there's Mark Henry. He ran the ring. Oh. The God with a chair. What business does Mark Henry have in this matchup? And Leviathan with a huge spear. In 2002, Bautista made his WWE debut as Deacon Bautista, aligning himself with Reverend Devon. Though the duo caused chaos in the ring, Bautista's ambition soon became clear. After several months, he grew restless. He wanted out. During the same period, Brock Lesnar was now in one of the company's most prominent positions. Only months before, Brock was working the OVW mid-card while Leviathan was OVW champion. Batista knew he had to get to the top, and he knew he was on borrowed time. The alliance with Devon was a good stepping stone for Batista, but this wasn't the final product. Enter the animal. The Reverend is about to discover that a 300-pound monster is a force to be reckoned with. The world was now watching. Did Batista have what it took to put a definitive end to his association with Reverend Devon? We are underway here on SmackDown. It's Reverend Devon versus his former protege, Batista. Batista's head driven directly into that exposed steel ring post. What is Reverend Devon about to do with that steel chair? The referee intervenes, but wait a second. Reverend Devon with a second steel chair to the sternum of Batista. A veteran move from the former tag team champion. Batista had passed his first real test on the main roster, but what was next? In 2003, Batista was recruited by Triple H to form the now legendary stable Evolution. With the guidance of his mentor, 
Bautista quickly rose to prominence, winning the tag team titles on two separate occasions. Batista's thirst for individual recognition, coupled with Triple H's jealousy, eventually led him to enter the 2005 Royal Rumble, a match that he went on to win. Later that year, he opted to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship, solidifying his status as a main event player and cementing his legacy as one of WWE's most dominant forces. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from one of the biggest main events in WrestleMania history. The animal Batista takes on Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship. This is the opportunity for Batista to solidify his legacy and cement himself as one of the greats in this business. Both men have put on impressive performances this year, but only one will come out on top and leave WrestleMania with the championship. The tension is palpable, the energy electric, and the crowd is on the edge of their seats. This match has the potential to go down as one of the greatest in history, and you don't want to miss a second of it, folks. This is the moment that Batista has been working towards his entire career. He now has the opportunity to capture everything he's fought for and prove that he's ready to be the face of the company. The stakes are high. Can Batista rise to the occasion, or will the pressure force him into submission? Batista had reached the mountaintop, he was now the man to beat, but what came next left the whole of the WWE Universe in disbelief.